Hey travelers, Mag and I here on day 176 of our trip around the United States. Today, we're getting things started off in Laurel, Mississippi, in the heart of Jones County at the Jones County Veterans Memorial. For today, we're gonna to be covering the 150 miles as we make our way south and east out of Laurel into Waynesboro and then make a straight drop south. We don't have all that many targets left on our list today, so once we finish up for the day, we'll go ahead and get started on some of the challenges we have identified for tomorrow's geocaching. Then tomorrow, we'll end up spending our whole day down in that area, and we're gonna catch up and put ourselves right back on the time that we should be. I'm very happy that today is going to be an easy, slow-paced day. We started very slowly this morning and took our time to get things going, knowing that we had a little bit extra time to kill. And through the day, as we encounter other targets that we wanna find that may not have necessarily been on our target list, we'll go ahead and tackle those too. I know today's gonna to be a great day because we have zero pressure to worry about. We're gonna make it to where we wanna go and it's going to be a breeze. So come on, let's see what today has in store. Let's go. This small plaza, prominently placed in the downtown area of Laurel, Mississippi, honors the young men from Jones County who gave their lives in the wars of the 20th century. At the center of the plaza, two flagpoles stand tall with the Mississippi state flag and the United States flag flying high in the breeze. Centered around the flagpoles, you will find six granite markers bearing the names of those who paid the ultimate price and the Distinguished Medal of Honor recipients. Those honored here will forever be remembered in the homes they were never able to come back to. One thing that will immediately jump out at you as you explore the downtown Laurel area is how many different murals there are. And this is far from limited to just the downtown area. Beautiful murals just like these have been used all around the city to take the mundane and turn them into stunning works of art. Laurel has been a hub for innovators, artisans, and creatives since its founding in 1882. Its history is rich with artists of all kinds that have truly made their mark on the city. Though there are many contributing artists in the city, two uniquely talented sign painters, River Prince and Will Sellers, are driving forces that continue to keep Laurel beautiful. Jones County is also one of 10 counties within the state of Mississippi that features two county seats rather than just one. It is, however, the only county that features twin courthouses, with the courthouse in Ellisville, the other county seat, featuring the same original design. Not only were we lucky enough to spot this wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube guy in our travels, but then we got lucky enough to spot a second wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube guy. Yahoo! So there are two locations where wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube guys seem to be real common. Both of them seem to involve fire. Apparently, they do help sell fireworks because you see this little guy and then you see, oh, they're selling fireworks and you go, well, if they got a wacky waving and flail alarm flailing tube guy, I guess I need to buy some fireworks. Yeah! On the long drive south between Waynesboro and Loosedale along the eastern edge of the state, the county and page targets become severely limited. There are only three letter boxes along this entire stretch and they are all down dirt roads just like these. Fortunately, all of those roads are in great condition and very navigable, even for a two-wheel drive vehicle. And, just as importantly, all of the geocaches along this stretch are in great condition and well-maintained. Now I know not everybody feels the same way. Skeletor 10, for example, loves geocaching in the cities. But for me, I love getting out on these lonely roads and finding geocaches out in the middle of nowhere. Not only do I enjoy the peace and quiet that these country roads offer, but each ground zero gives me an opportunity to let I chun out of the car to walk around as there is no concern about other cars coming along while we are here on the hunt. It is also very much appreciated that rather than a series of micros, each of these geocaches was at least a small or a regular large enough to hold some swag items. With the help of my furry companion, we rooted out each of these finds from their hiding place, adding our names to the logbooks one at a time. I chun only cares about the hunting part though. Once I crack open the container to check out the swag, she goes back to sniffing around. I think it may be a bit underrated as geocaches go, but for me, a good logbook can make a difference in making a geocache that much better. I like this little thing, it's cute. Finally completing the drive out of Waynesboro along the long, lonely country roads, we reached Loosedale, 
the county seat of George County with a population of around 3,000 people. Spread around the far sides of the courthouse, you will find a veterans memorial centered between two tanks, a tribute to local law enforcement officers who have given their lives in the line of duty, and a memorial honoring the Confederate dead. Because although we may have been at war with each other, these were still brothers and sons lost. Immediately around the courthouse, given the time of year, you will find a different kind of memorial. On the lawn and in building fronts all around facing inboard are various Christmas displays celebrating the holidays. The designers here had a good joke with the Grinch stealing the presents in front of the Justice Court building. As did the folks who put together this wonderful gingerbread land display. It's really good to see we got a sense of humor here. <laughs> He's handy capable as far as I'm concerned. We've made it to Pascagoula in Jackson County and amazingly, we still have a few hours of sunlight still on our side. This is actually my favorite time of day with Aichun because she still wants to get out of the car, but when it comes to mid-afternoon, she's just too tired. Between about noon and 4 p.m., she cannot get the energy to get out of the car. So even though we're here at the park picking up a few geocaches, I've offered her to get out and poor girl can barely keep her eyes open. She's exhausted from the morning we've had so far. But come this evening, she's gonna be up and at them and ready to go geocaching until we close out our day. It's okay, girl. You just keep napping. You're good. You're good, I check. You just enjoy your afternoon nap, sweetheart. I always enjoy tracking down challenged geocaches, so seeing how many there were in this area, I decided to add some extra targets to the list and track down some of the bison tubes hanging around. That's kind of a funky looking bison tube, isn't it? Have you guys seen one like this before? It looks more like a bullet than a bison to me. As it turns out, that was far from the only unique bison we would find hanging around as we ran from one challenge to the next. I can't help but think that somebody might have had a little too much fun with 3D printer as some of these were rather unique. In practically no time at all, we found everything in front of us and we're ready to move on. I guess I'm just gonna have to take their word for it. Those are not geocaches. Helpful information during the hunt. Sometimes you just really gotta take a seat and ponder, where could this geocache possibly be hidden? For our final stop of the day, we dropped in to pay our respects at the Mississippi Vietnam Veterans Memorial. There is a lot to see and take in as you explore this memorial, starting with the walking path that circles around with a military theme lined with Mississippi Congressional Medal of Honor winners. One plaque reads, it is hereby recognized that the shipmates whose names appear on this pedestal have received their final orders from the Supreme Commander they were good and faithful sailors who were qualified in this life and whose qualifications recommend them to ship's company in the celestial boat. In your heaven, we hope that they shall find a good harbor and safe mooring far from the temptuous seas of this life. Sailors, rest your oars. The centerpiece of the park is a beautiful black granite memorial built in 1996. It is a tribute to the men and women who served in the Vietnam War. Two black granite walls face each other with the names of the 668 Mississippians killed in the war. This memorial stands apart from so many of the other Vietnam veterans memorials we have seen in our travels because of the laser engraved photos of the service members who lost their lives featured on each of these walls. If I am fighting to protect and maintain what I believe in and I want to live in a democratic society, if I am killed while carrying out this mission, I want no one to cry or mourn for me. I want people to hold their heads up high and be proud of me for the job I did. All right, travelers, that's gonna do it for our day. We've made it to Ocean Springs here at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. And as you can see, the sun is starting to sink below the horizon. It's been a pretty good day. We did not have that many miles to cover, which meant once we cleared our 160-ish miles, we were able to get down here to the Gulf Coast and begin working our way through the challenges that we have on the list for tomorrow. We are almost at the end of our run for Mississippi. Tomorrow, we're gonna to start things off by getting the county challenge for the state of Mississippi, and then working through the challenges that are down here along the coast within Jackson and Harris County. This was a fantastic memorial to end our day with.
and I like the symmetry that we were able to begin our day at a veterans memorial and we were able to end our day at a fantastic veterans memorial like this. Not really much I could ask for beside that. Thank you guys for joining us on our tour through Mississippi. Like this video, subscribe to stay tuned for daily updates, and we'll see you out on the trails.